Welcome Capricorn and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journey. Week commencing Monday the 26th of October through to Sunday the 1st of November 2020. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. And Capricorn, you did have a an extra card that came out and I felt that I needed to um, accept it. Okay, so let's have a look at your crowning message. Capricorn, you have crossroads. Hmm. You have the answer is no and you have received. Now, straight away, Capricorn, when I first pulled these cards, the first thing that I noticed is that the Crossroads card is quite foggy and so is received. And I feel that if at this time, you and your twin flame journey, uh, you and your twin flame are on a journey, but you are on separate paths. And I feel that both of you are probably confused about this connection. It's almost as if it's foggy, it's blurry. You can't make any sense of it. And with regards to your connection at this time, I feel as if you're both kind of letting each other know that we're on different paths right now. And right now the answer is no. And I feel that you're both on that same page because it's as if the message has been received. It's as though you or your twin flame are just saying, stop, wait, I need to clear this fog around this connection. And I feel that the message has been received, that the answer is no at this time. Interesting. And also, you know what I noticed with the answer is no card? That it's cracked. It's as though the foundation is cracked. It's not whole. So that's really interesting. It's as if something's broken down that's put you both on separate paths. For your crowning wisdom message, you have 2424. Be patient as your angels are working to reveal your life's purpose and mission to you. Your second card, you and your twin flame are mirroring each other's thoughts at this present time. What did I say? It's as though you both are recognising that you're on different paths. One of you or both of you are saying no and it's as if the other is receipt has received that message and they are halting they're stopping any pursuit towards you your third card your twin is leveling leveling up their energy in order to match yours and will face you when the time is right absolutely it's as though capricorn that it's like what I was saying in the beginning, this foggy image with these two cards, the crossroads and received, it's as though they're not clear as to where this connection is going. So right now they're saying no, or you could be saying no. And I feel that what they're trying to do or what you're trying to do is level up your energy. If I have to look at the colours of these hearts, Two, three, four is all about um, your third eye chakra. And it could be that they may not be seeing clearly with this connection or you may not be seeing clearly. With eight, three, three, eight, 
I feel as though this is to do, I mean, this blue is to do with your throat chakra. There could have been something that was said that broke this connection and resulted in a no, in, in somebody saying, halt, we're on different paths. And I feel as though you both are recognising it, both recognising the situation as it is. And with 2424, this is your solar plex chakra. It's as though you both need to figure out the path that you're on. And I feel it's your life path. You guys may be um, very different people, actually. Maybe there's a cultural or a religious factor, or maybe you are from different countries, different states. But you're both not on the same path, which therefore puts you both at a crossroads. And it could be a crossroads with your, with your life in general. And I feel that your angels are working in the background to reveal your life's purpose and get you back on that path that you're supposed to be on. And it may include your twin flame, it may not, but we'll see as we get further in. And then your bonus card that came out, 777, and the green heart represents your heart chakra and it says honor your shadow self and let it reveal any hidden mysteries to you a completion is near it's almost as though there is something that needs to be cleared out transformed clarity needs to be given either you or your twin flame may have some shadow work that needs to be done and they may know it or you may know it which is why they're saying halt stop i've received the message of who you are but actually at this time i have to say no because my life may not be going the way that i want it to be going and I'm at a crossroads and I can't, I can't deal with this connection right now. It almost feels as if their priorities or your priorities, Capricorn, are elsewhere. And I feel it's to do with your life purpose, where you're going, who are you? Okay, Capricorn, let's get straight into your cards. Interesting message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love during their twin flame journey? Week commencing Monday the 26th of October through to Sunday the 1st of November 2020. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Capricorn that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right. Okay. Oops. Straight away. Okay. We've got three cards. Wow. Separation. Yeah. 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 That kind of makes sense. Unawakened. Conclusion. Please, can you tell me how does the twin flames of Cap? Thank you. Okay. 
we have big dreams and we have reinvention. Okay, Capricorn. Interesting message. Capricorn, I feel that there is, with the separation card, I feel that there is an element of heartbreak here. Either you or the person that you're connecting with, that you're associating as your twin flame, recognises that you are both in separation. I mean, you, like I said before, you could be, um, there could be a cultural difference um, there could be, you could be living apart in different countries, different cities, different states. But whatever it is, there is a separation here. And I feel that you both know it. With the unawakened card, possibly your twin flame hasn't fully awoken yet to this connection but they might be feeling it on a on a soul level right right at the crux of their heart it's almost as if there's a depth to their heartbreak or your heartbreak that just can't be explained and i feel Divine spirit universe is saying it's because one of you are unwoken. You've not woken up to this connection. The conclusion I feel is that whoever hasn't awoken, I feel that they don't know that actually you hold the key to mending this heart or they hold the key to mending your heart capricorn with big dreams i feel as though there is um there is some work that needs to go on um some shadow work i feel capricorn either you or your twin flame might be in um, a bit of an illusion with this connection. And it's as though they're burying their head deep, deep, deep in the waters of their emotions. And it's as though they're going through a transformation, but they're not quite, they're not quite through it. It's because they haven't been awoken. They may also have big dreams to do with their life's purpose and mission. And that's why they're saying, stop. I've received the message of who you are, but right now I'm saying no, because I am at a crossroads in my life right now. And I have big dreams for myself. And until these dreams come into fruition, that's when I will come forward having reinvented myself. It's almost as if I feel, Capricorn, that you both do know each other. But I feel it's their energy that's not fully awoken to this connection. They haven't realised that you hold the key to their heart. But it's as though they're feeling you on that depth, the depth of the big dreams, you know. Do they feel it's an illusion? But they are heartbroken and they may not be able to explain why they're feeling heartbroken, which kind of explains why the received card and the crossroads has just got this foggy imagery. It's like they don't understand what's what's going on let's get into your clarifications capricorn really fascinating message here thank you the first card is the um seven of swords 
I feel that there is some sort of deception, some sort of, uh, do you know what? It, it feels as though they're un, un, unawakened. How can I put this? It's as though they're unawakened to how deep, how deep this connection is with big dreams. That you hold the key to these big dreams, perhaps. But it's as though at the same time of being unawoken, there's something about you, Capricorn, that has struck their heart dead on, right to the core. And they're feeling it, but they are not telling you. They may not even be telling, that. they may not even be acknowledging it to themselves, hence the fogginess. They may even not be telling you that the separation between you both, whatever that separation is, 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 is breaking their heart. And that's why they're saying no at this time. It could really seriously be a distance or something culturally with something in the connection that's just got them really kind of confused, muggy, that right now they're just saying no. And as I was saying earlier, look at the, the answer is no, how this is all shattered, just like the separation card. But I feel that they're not telling, there's, there's something they're not telling you. Then we have judgment. Interesting, isn't it? They may have been unawoken to this connection, but they do want to reconcile. There is reconciliation. But this also could mean that divine is coming in to provide peace, reconciliation within this connection. And this is where I feel that you're being guided to be patient. Because their angels, I feel, are working towards revealing their life's purpose. It could also mean that your angels are also working to reveal your life purpose. And I feel that with the 8338 card, you and your twin flame are mirroring each other's thoughts at this present time. It wouldn't surprise me if you're both at a bit of a crossroads with your life's purpose, your life's mission. You have big dreams. They have big dreams. And it's almost as if they want to get their life on track. To reinvent themselves. To then come forward. The next card is the High Priestess. Wow. Judgment and the High Priestess. Right next door to each other. I feel that this is definitely divinely guided and it's almost as if where which card was it um this this one uh a two three four your twin is leveling up their energy in order to match yours and will face you when the time is right and because that is the uh third eye chakra i feel as if they may be drawing on their intuition that even though they are un unawoken to this connection i feel that their intuition is prompting them but right now it's it's not the time for you guys to come come into union and I feel divine spirit is, is, is levelling this out for both of you. Wow. But they're thinking about you. You're thinking about them. I would say on a daily basis. Whatever's going on in their life right now is not serving them. Look at those three cups there. They're, they're not interested. They could have other people that's interested in them. You could have other people that's interested in you. But you, they're not interested. You're not interested. 
And it's because your intuition, their intuition, is guiding them towards you. They haven't fully awoken yet, or you haven't fully awoken, but they are thinking about you for sure. Do you know, it almost feels as if the wisdom that they have, I would say this person is extremely wise, or you're extremely wise, Capricorn. Because it's as though, even though they're not awo awoken to this connection, they're feeling you. And that's what I was saying earlier. You know this person, they know you. But their intuition and wisdom is letting them know that right now they can't go there. They can't go there with you. And then we have the Queen of Coins. I feel that this person that's thinking about this Queen of um, Coins energy, they do see, and I feel that this is your energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. But I feel as though Capricorn, they see you as somebody that is abundant, that is grounded, that's solid, that's spiritual. And maybe, maybe they do know that you hold the key to their heart. But it's as though they're not seeing it or they don't want to see it right now. Or Capricorn, you may be seeing them as the key to your heart. And then we have the Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel as though they're watching watching and observing you, thinking about you on a daily basis, almost as if they are, it's as though they haven't woken up to the fact that you hold the key to their heart, but yet at the same time, they're thinking about you, knowing that you're grounded you're abundant, you're spiritual, you're solid, and they're watching you very, very closely. It's almost as if they're trying to suss out, is this person the key to my heart? It's as almost that they don't, it's like they don't know, it's this foggy, it's almost as if I'm picking up the fogginess of them. You know, it's just, there's just no clarity. Then we have the Five of Swords. I feel that, I mean, with the amount of swords here, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, there could be little or no communication with you. I feel as though whatever this big dream is, which they are diving deep and almost it feels as if they're burying their head under the sand or burying their emotions in the, you know, the depth of their emotions haven't fully transformed and awoken to this connection. I feel that it's a battle. It's a real, real battle. And that's what I was trying to say at the beginning. It's like, even though they're unawoken to this, to this connection, they're still feeling you. It's like they it's like the separation is breaking their heart, but they're not telling you. They're thinking about you. They know that you're solid. They know that you're abundant. And they are watching and observing you. And I think as you are both mirroring each other, Capricorns flip the script because you may be feeling exactly the same way. It's almost as if, you know, the message has been received, you know, stop. It's it's almost as if when the two of you came into union, it, it's almost as if, you know, this big dream of who you are to each other kind of just struck you like a bolt of lightning and one of you or both of you are just bury, burying your emotions deep, 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 deep. But I feel that one of you or both of you will come out of that battle. 
you know what at one point or another one of you or both of you are going to have to surface and deal with the transformation that needs to occur and I feel that you will or they will and it will be victorious and look at that the ten of cups you know what Capricorn they 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 do you know what they may not be awakened to this connection, but like I said, they are feeling you on a very, very deep, deep level. But it is, it's as though they cannot explain it. And right now, their priority is their life's purpose and mission. So they could be focusing on work. They could be you know, the current climate that we're in right now, they could be out of work, they could have just started a business, they could be, you know, struggling right now. Whatever it is, it's like right now the answer is no. But they see you as their happy ever after. The person that they want to build a future with. They do have those big dreams, but it's as though they're burying it. It's like they can't deal with it right now. And then we have the moon card. Yeah, I feel as though there is... Whatever was in the dark with this relationship, I feel as though it, it will come to light, which kind of explains why... The Five of Swords is here because I feel as though this connection will be victorious and they will they will awaken to this connection. But right now they may have questions. They, yeah, obviously they've got questions um, because it's as though what's what's in the dark is kind of slowly coming to the light. And maybe they feel that they need to reinvent themselves because they may not feel good enough for you. Hence, your twin is level, leveling up their energy in order to match yours and will face you when the time is right. And I feel that their energy is coming in as the king of swords. Blunt, straight to the point, wise, protecting their heart. I feel that they are, yeah, I feel that they may feel that they're not good enough for you right now. And that's why they're saying no. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what your twin flame would like to say to you. My angel, thank you. Wow. Okay. So the first message... I wish I could take back the things I said. Wow. Okay. So maybe something was said. I feel that your twin flame with the King of Swords is quite blunt, quite sharp with their tongue. Says it as it is. And maybe right at the beginning, there were things that were said that put you both in separation. Hence why... I feel that you're both mirroring that you're on different paths and it needs to halt. It needs to stop. And they may not be telling you because they're heartbroken. They may not be fully awakened, Capricorn, but they are feeling you. They are feeling you. Thank you. The next message I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, I don't know what's happened here. Um, you know what? Maybe they are unawakened to something that they said, an action or behaviour and the impact that it had on you. You may have walked away. And you may be saying to them, you know what? Fine message received I'm stopping I'm not pursuing any further it almost feels as if a runner and a chaser and whoever was chasing has halted and now the other the other twin flame is 
all over the place. Broken hearted at a crossroads. Knowing that you hold the key to their heart. Or not realising actually that you do hold the key because they, they didn't wake up to it. But I feel that they are with that Ten of Cups. But it's as, this, as if they're burying their, their emotions deep, deep, deep. Thank you. Your next message. Your beauty still moves me. Wow. Well, evidently they find you extremely attractive, beautiful. And maybe they do have big dreams for, for you both. But right now, it it's just not happening. It's almost as if they've got to sort their life out. And whatever was said, Capricorn, either something you said or they said, I feel that it really cut, cut at the core of their heart or at the core of your heart. But they're not telling you. And the final card, I feel safer in the silence. Yeah. What did I say? They're burying their emotions with the big dreams and the tail of that dolphin or whatever fish it is. Shark, who knows what it is. But they are, they've gone deep, deep, deep within burying those emotions because that's where they feel safest. I think they know they need to come correct and reinvent themselves. If you've got an opinion of them that they're just too blunt, too, you know, a bit hard, a bit judgmental, I feel as if they know that they need to fix that. Hence, levelling up their energy to match yours. I'm being drawn to honour your shadow self. They may have some shadow work that they need to do. Capricorn. Which they may know that we've received as well. Let's just have a look, Capricorn, what you would like to say on a soul level to your twin flame. First card out. Wow, look at that. Dwelling on the past and future keeps me from experiencing the power of now. I make a conscious choice to be present. I accept love now. I'm grateful for your love. Wow. Wow. You know what, it almost feels as if you want to let them know that you can't dwell on the past. They can't dwell on the past. So even though they may feel that they want to take back what they said, I feel Capricorn that you want to kind of let them know that the power of now is what you are encouraging, urging. Dwelling on the past is not serving either one of you. Or dwelling on the future. It's almost as though you want to say to them, we need to be living in the here and now. Your next message Stop taking life so seriously. Achievements and possessions will pale into insignificance when your soul journeys back home to the light from which everything stems. Wow. What was I saying? It's as though they feel as if, you know, their big dreams, wanting to reinvent themselves, come at you correct. And I feel as though you're saying, you know what, I don't, I don't care what you have. I, you know, I, I, I really don't, I, you know, you may have these big dreams and you may be discovering your purpose, your mission, which is all fine. But actually, 
This is love. Stop taking life so seriously. I feel that's what you want to say to them. Because at the end of the day, when it's all over, we just go back to the light from which we come. And your next message to your twin flame, in order to cope with separation from a loved one, we need to realise that spiritually we are always connected to those we love. Neither distance nor time can separate that which is united by love. Absolutely. I feel that with you both mirroring each other, you know that you're in separation. They know that you're in separation. And I feel as though you're trying to let them know that to cope with that, you've got to realise on a spiritual level that the love between you both is never going to die. The journey, the soul contract that you made to each other many, many life times ago, I mean, is so powerful. The, the love is so deep that nothing really can separate you both. And your final card, Capricorn, to your soulmate says, no matter what changes life brings, nothing will change my love for you. You give my life purpose because of you, I feel safe. I am forever grateful, thank you. Wow, now isn't that interesting? They feel safer in the silence and you're letting them know that actually their love, their love for you, actually makes you feel safe it's really interesting it's almost as if yeah it almost really as if you're both on separate paths you know it's almost as if they're trying to achieve something correct something and you're kind of almost as though you know what life is life love is love embrace it i love you you love me Let's just continue on this journey, evolving and growing, because the love that we have for each other far outweighs anything on this 3D. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. Um, powerful message, really powerful message. Um, if this message resonated for you, please feel free to click the thumbs up so that this video can get pushed out to more Capricorns. Um, if you wish to subscribe so that you know when I'm uploading, by all means, um, that is your choice. And I would um, advise to check out your moon rising and Venus signs because that may give you some more in-depth, different perspective to your twin flame um, message. Until next week, Capricorn, I am sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.